Thank you for purchasing from Garbage Commander. Happy to bring these videos of how to install our products. Today we're going to install our BRH. It is a receiving hitch that can mount to any flange. In this case we're going to use our tractor the lawnmower. The hole on a tractor lawnmower the flange is probably going to be about a half an inch or five eighths. We give you a 7 16 bolt to go through it so there is a little much, you know, a little more room, but that's still going to work fine. It's a very simple process. We take our bolt or we take our receiver, our bolt and washer through the top hole. Set it on and we give you a stiffening washer. And what this is used for is just to support the flange a little bit more. Some of the problems are depending on the thickness and the gauge that your flange is, you could get a little deflection. When we put our receiver hitch out here, the more weight we put on our um, handle is gonna wanna flex this. So look, de depending on what you have as far as you know, a thickness on your flange will depend on how heavy you can actually load up your uh, weight on the handle. So once we got that, we take our stiffening washer, Put it up under our lock washer and nut. And then just mount it on parallel with the hitch. And then for the wrenches, we're going to use a 5 8 and 11 16 wrench. We get it snug. We just make sure we've got placements right and then finish tightening. Once it's secure, we're ready to use our receiver hitch. What we recommend is our SR because on a lawnmower or something like this, the dual arm is actually going to be too wide and it could end up interfering with the tires even with the stop. So it's just simpler using this. If you got a haul tool, use our can couplers to hook up multiple cans in a chain. We sell a 5 8 pin online and this one's nice because it's very easy. It doesn't come with a cotter pin. We just have to pivot the tip to lock it in place. So once we got our hitch in place, Flip our 5 8 pin, pull it back a little bit to lock it, and now we're set. Now that we have our receiver hitch mounted, the only thing we need to do is make sure that our operating height is going to be between 14 and 21 inches. In the case of this tractor, we're using our highest hole and it's giving us the proper height. So now all we have to do with that set is just tilt our can over our handles. Take our quarter inch PTO pin, mount it through the rear retainer bracket, and pin it in place and start hauling. Again, I want to thank you for purchasing our products. And remember, hashtag master the cam.